Now, if you spent any time on social media today, you can't have missed what's happening in Turkey. Two of the top three trends have uh, involved a block on YouTube. Let me just show you this. Lots of uh, different hashtags have been uh, concentrating on this. Turkey blocked YouTube is one. Dictator's way is another. That's clearly from one side of the argument in Turkey. Perhaps not supporters of Prime Minister Erdogan. Um, others as well just coming through the hashtag Turkey. All are very useful. Let's find out more about what's going on with Ezra Dogramachi, uh, who's a social media specialist here at BBC News. So Ezra, when did it start? The YouTube block has come into effect this afternoon and as you said, within about an hour it was trending worldwide. So nobody's really surprised about this. People I know now that Prime Minister Erdogan is not really a fan of social media. So he said first Twitter and then alleged claims that YouTube's lawyers were behind Twitter for some reason. And next thing you know, Twitter has been shut down. It's not the first time this has happened in Turkey. It happened in 2008 and that ban was lifted in 2010. So it looks like it's round two of that. But this was unexpected because yesterday I thought a court had overturned the ban on Twitter. Yes, that was a local court that had overturned that ruling. But what it looks like now, it's another national ban on YouTube so people won't be able to access it. Now the only way that this would be able to change is if any of these bans or the claims are pertaining to anything to do with anything that's sensitive or break any of Turkey's laws. For example, if it's insulting Turkishness. But if it's a complaint against a politician or allegations of corruption, mm -hmm. then there's no reason for YouTube to go with that court order and to try to go around that ban. Ezra, thank you very much indeed. Ezra D is where you'll find it on Twitter. Thank you very much indeed to you.